We are summoned here and inspired by the spirit of John Lewis, who taught all of us how to get in good trouble. I had the honor of serving as his pastor. Some may be asking why are we reintroducing the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. We're in a divided Congress. We ran into barriers getting this done uh, when we had both houses. The answer is John Lewis. I think about John Lewis crossing that Edmund Pettus Bridge. He didn't have any reason to think that he could win. Brutality on the other side of that bridge. But with a trench coat on his back and commitment in his heart, he kept marching. You never know when you get to bend that arc. So we continue to raise this issue. The Supreme Court did us a terrible disservice, the American people, a terrible disservice. Uh, in the decision of Shelby versus Holder. The late Ruth Bader Ginsburg was correct when she said getting rid of pre-clearance is like getting rid of your umbrella in the middle of a rainstorm because you're not getting wet. And her words proved to be truer than we could have imagined. It is raining, torrential rains in Georgia and all across our country. I've seen this up close, Georgia's terrible SB202. This is not theoretical stuff. This impacts the ability of everyday, ordinary people just to vote. I think about Dolores Flanagan, and a woman from Cobb County, Georgia. She works a 12-hour shift uh, as an emergency medical technician, 12 hours a day. But because she is a patriot, because she is a committed citizen, she wanted to make sure she voted. So she would vote by mail. She requested her vote by mail ballot, but was not able to vote by mail because the officials in Cobb County didn't get her ballot to her in time. Well, SB 202, shorten the time that you have for vote by mail because they saw us show up with power through vote by mail. And so because Dolores Flanagan could not vote by mail, she said, well, I'll vote early. And so she went to vote early. And she found herself standing in line for two hours. That's not an accident either. They shortened the period for early voting, SB 202. So they made it harder to vote by mail for somebody like her working 12 hours a day. She then goes to vote early, has to wait two hours to vote. And remember, they made it hard for volunteers to even bring food and water while you're standing in the long line. And then in addition to that, uh, we have voter uh, challenges, SB 202. And this is an example of just the dozens of voter suppression bills and laws all across our country over the last several years. Uh, any citizen in Georgia can challenge the eligibility of their other citizens. And so we've had 100,000 of such challenges, I believe, in 2022. The study came out to show that 89,000 of those 100,000 were put forward by six conservative activists. And so literally people show up to vote. They're ineligible and they don't even know it. One gentleman who had, had cancer had to go and sit through a hearing so that he could obtain and secure what he thought he had already taken care of when he went to register. And so we've got to get this done in the spirit and in the name of John Lewis and because our democracy itself is at stake. So thank you so very much uh, for being here. I believe that a vote is a kind of prayer for the world we desire for ourselves and our children. And our prayers are stronger when we pray together. Let's protect our sacred rights.